think my favorite moment was seeing Joe um, say the line that I love, which Richard did say was, tell the court I love my lo wife. Tell the judge I love my wife. It's so simple, but so profound and quite heartbreaking and just beautiful. I think you did it very well. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite moments of Making Loving was feeling like we intersected with uh, the characters of Richard and Mildred when we were doing this thing with Mike Shannon in the, in the living room watching TV and, and kind of laughing at this old TV show and replicating the moment where Richard and Mildred were taking a, a photograph in Life magazine. And I remember finding that very special, particularly seeing the photograph of us, and it felt like we'd really created the aesthetic and the world and the characters that, that were going to live up to the truth of this story. I want to take Mildred up to D.C. to get married. Are you sure about that? By the power vested in me by the District of Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. The script was so delicate and bare that I, th that, but it's essentially funneled this kind of love in such an amazing way that I thought it was a gift as an actor to contribute. This in particular was a very important story, beautifully kind of detailed in, in, in the screenplay that he'd laid out. And amazingly, Jeff, I think was the right person to make it partly because he didn't want to deviate from the truth. It's, it's a very gentle, true story. Uh, and I think the, the kind of leaning of Hollywood towards exacerbating certain moments or, or kind of uh, magnifying certain dramatic moments in order to put them on the screen for the sake of a movie was a real temptation, or could have been a temptation, but not for Jeff. And as a result, I think the subtlety of the story is uh, is the same as those magnifications and, and more. I think the great thing is, is that Mildred and Richard will become names that are familiar to people and their story will be familiar. It was a big seismic shift in civil rights and yet, but it wasn't marked by violence or, or bloodshed. For that reason, I think it, it, it's gone under the radar somewhat with, with certain parts of the community. It's embarrassing that we look back 50 years and think that this couple endured time spent in jail, threat of uh, losing their children, and now, I mean, the question is, isn't it gonna be embarrassing for us to look back in 10 years' time and to say that we placed those same kind of embargoes on uh, uh, people because they are of the same gender? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's about legacy, isn't it? I mean, do you, it's sort of ridiculous that you can legislate on human emotions. That's the legacy that I think this film will leave, is that this is not the way I think that we want to leave the world um, for our children, our children's children. This may be a very quiet film, but that, that sort of concept is very loud.